Hey everyone, in this quick video, I would like to share with you this one photography accessory and how it could be one you may want to have in your camera bag. But, <laughs> thought I saw a bug. Before I get started, I just wanted to take the time and say this is not a sponsored video and the product I'm going to talk about is one I purchased with my own money and all of what I'm going to say are my own thoughts and experiences. What am I talking about? <laughs> As you can tell from the intro of this video, I'm talking about this camera hand strap by Peak Design. Hopefully this will show up because I've tried many times and it wasn't showing up. There are some other added advantages of this camera hand strap, but we'll talk about them as we go along in this video. But right now, let me show you big design, what you get in the box, and how it works. Inside the box is where you would normally find clutch, but because I've been using it, this is clutch. Here, it's built from sturdy material, it's designed well. I believe it's actually like a microfiber type material, but like all Peak Design products, they're designed and built to last. Inside of this box was this Peak Design little carry bag that carried. It carried this attachment that you would use to attach to your camera to be able to hook up or thread up clutch and to go with it you've got an anchor well actually you get two anchors but you don't need to use both you just pick one and you can discard the other one to put it all together you get the allen key the other thing that you get is this little attachment that you normally would put on the side of your camera if you didn't have one but because my sony a7 IV has one of these little anchors you don't really need to use this. Now I'm going to show you how to connect and hook up and thread up clutch for you to work. You take the attachment piece, which is for your tripod or any other Arca Swiss compatible device. And as you can see here, it's got four anchor points. So you take the anchor and you can thread it through any which one of these corresponding anchors. Normally, you would attach this attachment onto your camera and then use the Allen key to tighten it and then thread this through. But I find that to be a bit of a challenge. What I like to do is, because I already know where I'm going to want to have my anchor be placed and how I want clutch to be hooked up, I'm going to put it on the bottom far corner here. And all you do is you take this, squeeze it in, and thread it through the corresponding hole like so. That comes through the little gap. Pull it through, loop it over the anchor head and pull. Taking your camera body, and then I line up the attachment to my camera. Using the Allen key, I then tighten the attachment with the anchor. So what we're doing now is we're going to connect clutch to the anchor, push it in, connect it. Here, we're going to now turn the camera on its side and take, make sure it's not tangled. What you wanna do now is you've got the camera on its side Take this end piece of clutch and thread it through the side like thread it through the side on its side. Sometimes it can be quite a bit of a challenge. But once you have it, you just thread it through like, and then you take this little piece there, line it up. and thread it through. Now with the hand strap attached, it's quite easy to adjust it to your liking. All you really need to do is just pull up on this strap to release it. That way you can free your hand, compose your shot, dial in your settings, 
and then you're ready to shoot. Then once you've taken the photo, put your hand back in, pull down on the strap and you're ready to go. The reason why I purchased this hand strap is to avoid camera fatigue. Yeah, I was starting to develop some camera shake after an extended period of taking photos, especially as we are moving around quite a lot with street photography. This is a must for street photographers, in my opinion. This brings me to some of the other added advantages of why you might want to have one of these with you. And after some extensive research, I found that for me, it's the added security knowing that my gear was going to be safe and less likely to be dropped was an added advantage in itself. Plus, preventing any shakes during my photo shoots, which was the main reason for utilizing this for me. I also found that to be an added advantage that it will allow me to have a better control and grip over my camera. Last but not least, what I love about this particular hand strap and other camera straps alike is that they are lightweight, compact, and they add minimal bulk to your camera setup. So this makes it easy to carry and store no matter where you're traveling or heading out to take photos for the day. Overall, I think I've covered everything there is to say about the Peak Design camera strap, but if there's anything that I've missed, please let me know by commenting it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, help us out by subscribing and turn on your notification bell. That way you're notified each and every single time that I upload a video as well, I'm trying to grow this channel. And speaking of channel, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name's John, I'm an aspiring photographer here in Western Australia, capturing, creating, enjoying moments. Be sure to be following me on Instagram at John Aspired. And if you're uploading photos of your own, I would like to see what you're all creating. So be sure to use the hashtag that I've just created, enjoying photography moments for an opportunity to have your photos seen in future videos like this one. With all that said, be safe, be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next aspiring video. Thank you.